Keeping your eyes on the road and your hands on the wheel have never been easier. It's everything you want on one screen. Navigation, hands-free calling, radio. Axera makes it really easy with this, and I'm going to show you how to use it. When you're ready to fire the system up, press the power button on the top left. Next to those are the volume buttons. The home screen comes up and your options are displayed. Radio, navigation, USB, Bluetooth for phone and music, your backup camera, AV in and your settings. At the bottom, this controls your brightness. Here's your equalizer. Tap the radio button to bring up your radio. A quick check of the controls. This will take you back to the home screen at any time. You tune in your stations by holding these arrows. You can select a preset by holding down the buttons on this row, and you can store up to 18 FM and 12 AM stations. Choose FM or AM here. This is for local and distance tuning. This is for stereo or mono. And pressing this button stores the six strongest stations. These are your EQ settings. You have a few presets or you can craft your own sound. This button brings up even more options to control the surround sound. The crosshair grid is your fader and balance. Connecting to and setting up the Bluetooth is simple. Once you're back home, tap the Bluetooth icon. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled on your mobile device or tablet. Simply pair it up. When the devices are connected, it will display here. Now you can make or receive hands-free calls. Auto Connect will pair your device after you're away and Auto Answer picks up your incoming calls. The BT Music Note accesses the music on your phone or tablet so you can play it wirelessly. The rear camera button brings up the backup camera. USB is great. Plug a thumb drive into the unit and you can play music off of it, look at photos or even play a video. Tapping the settings gear takes you here. Settings is how you adjust the controls to fit you. You have a few GPS options. You can select a different wallpaper, calibrate the touchscreen, set the clock. You can turn off that beep when you press the buttons. And if you want to start from scratch, this is where you do a factory reset. Diving into navigation. First, accept the terms of usage and choose the voice you want to guide you along on your trip. So you have a lot of options. You can choose Amy, Susan, Dave. You can choose Tom, which is Tom, you're my GPS. I guess so. Where do you want to go? Oh, I don't know yet. I haven't thought about it. Just give me a second. I have to show everybody how to use this. Well, don't take all day. I've got places to go. I am a navigation unit. This menu is full of options. Here, you can change the time format and unit settings. And this menu is where you set your route preferences. Now, you can always go back and change or tweak these later by using the settings button. To start your trip, touch the button with three lines. All right, Tom, I'm ready to head back to the office. So how do we get there? All right, uh, looks like if you go up three green spaces, turn left at the Gumball Forest and uh, watch out, don't get stuck by the licorice. All right, that sounds easy enough. We can, wait a minute. Those aren't directions. You're looking at an entertaining child's board game. I don't know, gotta go. When you've decided on a real location, tap the new root button. You can type in an address. Look up places such as restaurants or gas stations or pull up places you've already been and stored in your saved locations. From here, you can set your destination. You can include stops along the way. And if you need a little help, press the useful information button. This will bring up items like your trip monitor. And if you run into an issue, you'll find nearby places to go get help or repairs. After you've selected your destination, hit start and the map will show you the way. During the trip, tapping the three lines will bring up a new set of options. If you want to make an unexpected trip along the way, hit Add Waypoint. Say there's a traffic type ahead, or you'd like to take the scenic route, detours and alternatives will find you a new way there. Route Summary pulls up an overview of point A and point B. Delete Route does just that. These icons at the bottom, this star opens your saved locations, the speaker is for your volume, and you can switch between a 3D and 2D map display. This button puts your trip on pause and the person icon pulls up your profile. You can set up different profiles for different drivers and each will have their own settings stored. On the map screen, the plus arrow zooms in, the minus arrow zooms out. To the right, you're gonna find traffic warnings, your route info, alternative routes, 
distance to your destination and how much time is left on your trip. Pressing the arrow and the direction at the bottom left brings up your trip summary. For more owner's resources, visit ThorMotorCoach.com.